Um, so I find with Foo Fighters, um, it's a pretty cool beginning there where we get this. So if I wanted to play through that, it's pretty quick too. It's like... into the verse so basically we get this fingers one and two off the two uh third string and first string in d position and we get one e and up so you think of it as a down up down so these fingers got to go right away after the first down strum one e and a two e and a three e and a four e I could be pretty tough. So if we looked at the chart, uh, basically one, I'm not on my D chord. The ah, I'm not on my D chord, but the E and the and is when I'm on that D chord. One, E, and ah. Great, great thing to practice. Try and do it, and even counting it can be tough. One, uh, one, E, and ah, two. Come back down on your D chord for two. One, E, and a, two, E, and a. And you can see where my fingers are. I'll give you this chart. We're going to go over that in a second. So the first one, beat one, was one, E, and a, two. We're back on D for two. We're saying E, nothing's happened, but then on the and, and a. So I got one, E, and a, two, E, and a. Nothing on three. We have to say three and bring our hand back down. This is how you probably might want to work it in stages to get through it after about five minutes. Next thing you know, you're playing it. Maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15, but definitely not two, three days of trying to hammer it out and hash it out all the time. Um, so we're on we're on beat three, and three is E and. So three E and. Uh, might be good to do that. Three E and. Uh, and then the last one is four E and a. The whole thing together, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. The hard part's getting it to flow together. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four. So the chart I wrote looks like this. I'll hold it up so that you could take a screenshot of it. And then you can see down below here where I've done all the counting and, and the strums for you. Um, above the arrows, we got one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. And, and here we got one. We're on the D chord. Now we got to take wherever. We're not on the D chord, but wherever it says D on the E and the and, we got to put our fingers back down. Here we just have finger three on the D chord, but we're strumming all the way down from the fourth string. Down one E and A. Uh, and this is showing you how to make all the changes here. Wherever the highlights are for D, those are the that's the the count you want the D chord on. One E and uh two. So E and, and D two is we're on the D. The other time we just keep finger one and two off. So hopefully that helps you get through the, the basic beginning of it. And then it uses that through the whole song, and it goes something like...
as it is. And I haven't played the song in a while. chorus C to G and then there's a cool ending where something happens in the ending but I see lots of people checking it out maybe want to learn more then I'll do do a full video on it but I had some students that were working on the beginning part we're having a hard time with the beginning part so that's why I gave them that to work with and now they have it on the channel as well so they can check it out there and, and hear it as well as how it's working as you're counting 16th notes Counting 16th notes can be tough. I mean, if you had this thing on, then you'd know you're being true to yourself. Um, again, I always make analogies. If you're a plumber and you do a soldering job, you know it's good when you turn on the water and it doesn't leak. But how do we know we're actually strumming right and playing right? We don't. But if I had that on, that can't speed. That keeps me steady. It doesn't speed up or slow down. So one E and a two E and a three. Yeah, that's pretty fast. So maybe slow it down a bit and check one E and a two E and a three. So all these are my numbers. One, two, three. Now we got one E and a two. So now I got to find where two falls. So these are things that we do when we practice. One E and a two. If I'm saying one and I'm hearing a beat before or after, I'm off time. Two. I'll try to get it right on this time. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Count it one E and a two, and say it and play it. I'm used to just playing with playing along to it. I can just hear it and I know. But to teach you guys and count it at the same time is tough. It's like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and four. E. You know, you might want to slow it down so you can really see the timeline and how everything's working. Something and a two. make sure we're on that too. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e two e and a three e and four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. So cool. I hope that helps you guys. Everybody get through this, um, guys, girls, anybody who's working on guitar, and make sure that at the very end we have our um, three Ds here. Only on the first beat here do we have the right beat four E and uh, we got to be on our D chord. Yeah. So I'll leave you guys with all that. That's the beginning intro of the Foo Fighter song. And it goes around and around back into that. All right. Thanks for watching TJ's Easy Guitar. And we'll be back again probably tomorrow or the next day. Every day I want to try to give you guys something new to work on. Have a great weekend if we don't see you. Bye for now.